Y'all, yesterday was a dark day in the Daniel Larson universe, and if you watched the last update, you know why. But to bring others up to speed, Daniel has been interacting inappropriately with underage users on TikTok, as well as doing his usual bullshit, getting kicked out of places and playing the victim right after. Today, we see Daniel get sick with what he first describes as a stomach bug, being now morphed into a full-on assassination plot done by the restaurants he's dining and dashing at. In a YouTube short titled, I got food poisoning last night and literally thought I was gonna die, Daniel is seen on a hospital bed, looking like a mummified corpse. Now of course, this can't just be a simple sickness, and in Daniel's mind, it's some grand conspiracy, taking this as far as to state he threw up both stool and urine, which is both disgusting as fuck and completely impossible, at least from my knowledge, unless you're Cartman from South Park. <laughs> Well, Cartman, hold on. God, let a man crap. <laughs> What's going on? Cartman shoved food up his ass and now he's trying to crap out his mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, go on, smart ass, and do it. I'm doing it, I idiot. God, give me a minute. You've had five, dude. I can't, I can't do it with you guys watching. Turn around. No, because you'll just crap out your button and say it came out your mouth. Uh, do you really think I'd be that deceitful, you guys? God damn it, you guys, I'm so crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Daniel has been milking this shit relentlessly, in the morning writing I'm sick again, continuing the melodrama writing I have proof of what happened at Red Robin according to Jagger, the Discord leader. Daniel then goes on this huge paranoid rant, going as far as to say I believe someone from the Discord and subreddit tried to kill me last night. Here we go folks, it's time for the assassination arc, and you know what they say, history repeats itself. I'm going to now ask my care provider. If I could get macaroni and cheese, but that's all we fucking have in this house. Holy fuck, my mouth is on fire. <sighs> Holy fuck. I know why this tastes different. It's got something in it that's like sour as well. I want to see how much honey mustard they actually used. Most of it. You can see actually a little bit of a line how much has actually been used. <sighs> Fuck. And I never thought that I would be this angry to where I would be putting this fucking shit all over the fucking media. But guess what? It's starting to affect my family and my girlfriend, and I'm not going to put up with this. I think they added canola oil too, which is why it tastes so fucking bad. Daniel then goes back to posting text conversations, posting this one from Tina that reads, Daniel, this is an emergency. Most of the restaurants in your area are trying to poison you because you've been dining and dashing. You need to be careful and only eat at select places and always pay. Do not go to the police. They can't help you. Good luck. Also posting this one that reads, Daniel, I'm very worried about you after what Grace did. Please do not believe the fakers saying they are me. Please confirm with Clark that this is my real official phone number, Tina. And that's where Daniel ends the night talking to people pretending to be celebrities and thinking he was poisoned. Just be happy you're not him, because Daniel's at the lowest he's been, and it's only going down from here. <laughs>